Hi everyone, so today I have a haul for you and I know I'm in a different location, I've kind of like moved the camera around my room because the sun is so bright today and yeah, it's actually sunny in England for like the first time ever, well, not the first time ever but if you're in England you'll know that this month has been pretty miserable in the UK so it's good to have a little bit of sun and apparently it's going to rain later so um, I'm going to hurry up and film this video so I can actually get outside in it. So I have a few things that I've bought. I, went, I did a little trip to Bista a few days ago. If you don't know what Bista is, if you're not from the UK or if you are from the UK and you don't know what Bista is, it's basically just like an outlet centre. So I picked up a few things from there and then I've got a few other things, some nail varnish, a pair of shoes, a few other things like that. But I'll show you the clothes first. Um, the first thing I actually bought in All Saints, I, I just went past the other day and they had this amazing sale on. Um, I think it's still on, like, so much stuff is 75% off. I have to get up and show you this because it's quite long. Um, but that is the neck. This is, you know what, if you know what All Saints stuff is like, you'll know that it's always hard to show what it looks like without trying it on. But it's just kind of, like, ruched. And I actually, um, I'm cutting about probably three inches off it because I'm sure it comes like just to my knee and it looks a bit funny so I'm going to cut a little bit of length off it so it's the right length but I really like that and I think it was reduced from £80 to £25 so it was quite a lot of money off. Um, the stuff that I got from Bista, I got these little pink linen shorts from Theory which is never normally a shop that I would go into. I always thought of it as being quite kind of grown up um, which isn't really my style. I'm Even though I'm 22 I do still kind of dress quite young for my age but um, these are quite cute and I think these were £21 um, and they're actually really nice quality originally theory is really expensive I think they were £120 which I would never pay for a pair of shorts but I'm going on holiday in about a month as well so hopefully I'll be able to wear them then and then I also got another pair of shorts from theory um, and these are like black they're a bit crinkled from when I tried them on. Um, they're like just black kind of suit trouser shorts, but they're really short. So um, I'd wear them with like opaque tights. I wouldn't wear them on its own because my legs aren't that good. But if you have amazing legs, they would look great. And I think they were £27 reduced from 130 so that was good. And then I also picked up a Luella t-shirt, which looks like this. Um, it's really like loose cut. Um, and I just thought it would be good for kind of lounging around in this. I think this was £10. Um, reduced from like 80 or something. I'm such a sucker for discount, but I really like that. It's kind of got a horse's head on the front. And the sleeves, actually, even though they look huge, they're like double layered, but they kind of stick out when you wear them, so they're quite like a statement kind of sleeve, even though they just look like a normal t shirt. So that's really cute. I also picked up a maxi dress. Now, I have never bought a maxi dress before, and I know they've been in for ages now, so I'm a little bit kind of like late on the trend, but I always just thought I was too short, and I've tried on so many, and I just went through kind of like the whole of Warehouse the other day, and they have so many nice maxi dresses at the moment, and I just tried on at like all of them that they had in the shop, and to be fair, the others all looked awful, but I really liked this one, so I picked this up. And it is plain black, and it has, um, just like metal, like metal bead detailing on the front. It's actually boned um, down the chest as well. Um, but yeah, I'll show you. It's actually the perfect length too, if I hold it up. That's what it looks like, strapless. Um, I'm not gonna try everything on just because I don't have time. Um, I know you guys actually liked it when I did one of these before and I tried them on, but I'm really sorry I don't have time today. But um, yeah, the warehouse maxi dresses, because I'm sure I'm five foot three, Normally I find it a nightmare to find the right length in maxi dresses with the size, but in warehouse, I don't know what the other high street stores do for this, but in warehouse, the smaller the size, the shorter the dress. So I actually, I'm a size 8, so I got a size 8 and it was the perfect length. So I don't know like if that works for many other people. It's kind of unfair because if you're tall and skinny or short and like you have big boobs or whatever, it's not going to fit you. So a bit of a nightmare, but I got lucky, um, which is really cool because normally finding maxi dresses when you're short is a bit of a nightmare. So that is it for clothing. Um, I've also got a couple of pairs of shoes. The first ones are um, some MPTs. Now, I've actually worn these around the garden once because I was kind of testing them out. I'm going to use, be using these to walk woof. Now, if you don't know what MPTs are, they're meant to like tone up your legs and your bum when you're walking. And I know there are a lot of this kind of shoe on the market now. I know Skechers just brought one out. Um, I think Reebok do some. But... I just thought they would be really good to try because I walk the dog a lot. I thought it might be good to kind of like 
burn extra calories whilst you're walking, turn your legs up or whatever. So I'll let you know how I get along with these. Um, they're not the best looking things in the world, but I think these are actually the best looking variety that they make because they're just plain black. They just look, from the top they look like normal trainers, but it's just the sole obviously. But they all look like that and that's how they work. So um, I'm pretty happy with these. I will be letting you know how I get along with them. If Let me know as well if any of you have tried these in the past and what you think. If you put a comment below and let me know because I'd really like to know if they're working for you. And yeah, so that is MBTs. And then I've also got a pair of shoes that my mum gave me. Now, these are from a shop in uh, Marleybone High Street in London called Ash. And my mum went past it the other day with my sister and they went in and there was a huge sale on, like 75% off everything. So my mum picked up like three pairs of shoes or something, which is really unlike my mum because normally she doesn't buy shoes that much at all and just because they were so cheap. And then she got them home and decided that they were kind of too high for her and a little bit too young for her you'll see when I show them to you but I really like them so she gave them to me which is really nice of her but they look like this and they're kind of like scary like um they do have like a gold platform and a gold heel which looks kind of tarty but, but when you have them on your feet they're a lot more subtle because you're kind of looking at them from that angle sorry my voice is really croaky today I think I'm getting a cold which is not cool I hate colds but yeah so I really like these um yeah, and they're actually really comfy to walk in because they have a huge platform, but yeah, so I like those. And I think my mum said they were reduced from maybe £200 to 38 or something like that, so like massive discount. I really want to check out the shop, I haven't been, it's called Ash on Marleybone High Street. So that's those. Um, I also picked up a nail varnish, now I picked this up um, during my meetup in London which was like a week and a half ago now so this is kind of like not really haul it's more of a review but it's the American Apparel Nail Lacquer and this is in L'Esprit which actually is a lilac but in certain lights this looks blue and it's slightly more blue toned than most of the lilacs out there so it's a little bit different to a lot of like the Barry M129 and the SE1 and the OPI ones there's so many lilacs now but this is slightly different and I hadn't seen anything quite the same kind of it's just slightly, slightly different to the normal lilac. So I really like this and it's really, really thick. And you can get away with like one coat of this, but if you don't like thick nail varnish, then this isn't for you. I didn't try any of the other ones from the line, but I like this, so I might pick up some more. I really like the packaging too, so American Apparel nail varnish. I don't know why my hand is just there. Random. Oh, if you're wondering what nail varnish this is, I get asked in every video what nail varnish it is, and I usually put it in the information bar if I don't say in the video, but this is an OPI one. And it's from their Switzerland, like their Swiss um, autumn winter collection. And it's called William Tell Me About OPI. And when I got this, I was sent this, I didn't buy it, just to let you guys know. Um, I, I was kind of disappointed in the colour because it's kind of like looks like one of those normal dark purples. But when you have it on, it is like so close to black. That hand is a little bit messy. Um, it's like so close to black that you can't even really see. And then you go in the light and it is slightly purple and I really like that I think this is going to be kind of my autumn winter go-to nail varnish but um, I'll put a link to where you can get that in the information bar and the last thing that I have this is the most exciting so I saved it till last um, I bought some new sunglasses now I have been wanting some sunglasses for the longest time um, the ones that I have before were from TK Maxx and I had them for like three years and like the colour had started to kind of like wear off because they were metal and I think they were like sprayed a different colour so the ones that I picked up were from Chanel, and I actually got them in Selfridges in on the day that I did my Manchester meetup, which went really well. So um, I actually picked them up on my way out after I said goodbye to all the girls. Um, I went and asked them, because we looked earlier and they didn't have them on display in the tortoiseshell, and I really wanted tortoiseshell, so I asked, and they have them. So these are the ones that I have. They're pretty big, and then the ones with the little bows on the side. I know these are quite popular, and I was kind of hesitant whether to get them because I didn't know whether they're a little bit seasonal and like next year it'll be like oh they're last year's ones because they are quite distinctive with the bows but I don't know I just I really really liked them and I I actually really like the shape so I just thought I'm you know I don't go on what other people will say just go on what you like which is always a good policy so I got these and that's what they look like on with the little bows at the side I also really like them because when you put them on your head which I do the whole time looks a bit wonky on my head there. You can see the little bow as well, it looks like a little hair bow, which is really cute. So they're my new sunglasses and I'm just uh, so excited that I got these. 
I just keep on putting them on, even if it's not sunny, just because I'm so excited about wearing them. So they're my new sunglasses. Um, that is it for my haul. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried the MBTs, because I'd love to hear about that. Um, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!